Good morning, guys. It's Dee Dee with Glue Patch Studio. I'm excited to be up here today. Okay, today we're going to do the Marguerite Miller Challenge 5, Week 5. Um, I did go ahead and pull some things so it wouldn't be as crazy as it was for the last video. Um... I have something maroon, um, a repeated pattern found in nature. I found this piece of grass paper, um, an eating or cooking utensil such as a spoon. I have a spoon stamp that I pulled out. Something hung on a wall. Now, this is not framed, but it looks like a photo that you'd hang on the wall. Um, a doodle. This is a doodle that I did uh, in back in 2012 for my secret pal um, that I never used. And it's been just floating around on my desk. So, I'm going to use that. Bonus is typewriter text. And I want to show you what I found. This is a facu faculty of 1930. And I went ahead and made a copy of it so I don't have to use my original, but isn't that cool? And it's in red, red type. That's great. So I'm gonna lay that aside so I don't ruin it. Okay, and these are just some extra things that I brought out for the back, uh, a piece of my grungy, coffee dyed paper and this is um a, a print from the journal boat that recipe um kit that she has um because it's got some cooking utensils on it i don't have many of those because i don't you know i don't do cooking okay and i thought i might use this pocket somewhere in this maybe for a tab i don't know i just laid out some things so we wouldn't be as crazy as it was in the last one okay so let's start with getting our background done i think that i'm gonna just kind of collage the back Maybe put this on the bottom on this side and this on the top on this side. Oh, look. Oh, I like that better. Let's do that. No sun here again today. Mm, it's driving me nuts. I need some sunshine. I wonder if I can do that right there. Okay, you're going to be weird today. I see that right now. Okay. So, yeah, I did it too big. Nope. Not starting off very well today. A little mark. And a little mark. See, I don't have enough workspace because I need to be tearing. I need my book out of the way. Let's get this one now. It's not going to do me any good to move this because I still got to work right there. All right, so we're going to do this one at the top on this side. All right, now start sticking some stuff down. I really have enjoyed doing these. It, it just makes me dig in my stuff. And I find all kinds of stuff that I forgot I had. 
Now I know why people love these challenges. And I'm using up stuff I probably would not ever use on anything. These are great ideas. I don't know who comes up with all this stuff. But they smort. They are smart. Okay, let's do this one. We had some friends over last night and played dominoes. It was fun. I think those men folk cheated. They claim they're just good. I don't know about all that. All right, now what? Should we do this on the bottom half, even though it's probably gonna be covered up? Oh, I like those little polka dots in there. Let's see if we can get that a little straighter. Well, I'm, I can't do it with my left hand. Let's see. Today is not gonna be the day, I don't think. It'll be one of those days. My son has a little Frenchy bulldog, <laughs> and his name is Buster. And they're gone to a ball game today, so I'm gonna have to go over and pick up Buster for a visit so he doesn't have to stay by himself all day long. And he's crazy. crazy. I've never been around him long enough for him to settle down, but they say he does settle down. He's just so excited. I don't, I'm not sure how my Yorkie's gonna like that. She doesn't play well with others. So, we'll see. Okay. Now, here's what's gonna have to happen. I'm gonna have to tear this in half this way. Because if I don't, everything's going to be a mess. Okay. So let's just start by tearing it in half and see what happens. Whoo! Boy! That's close. I mean... I should have put this down first. So... The edge, this jagged edge would be up top. Uh, I just don't think I'm that good that I could tear that. Maybe just a little. Okay. I'm scared to do that much. That'll work, that'll work. Let's 
see. Oh, yeah. Plus, this is kind of a muted, I mean, you know, just a really light paper, so it'll, it'll work for, even if you want to journal on it, if I don't cover it all up. Oh, I like that. a little higher than I wanted at the bottom, but I'd rather it cover that. That looks good. Now let's see if the, oh snap. We're gonna have to drop this one down too, or we could put something right there. I'm gonna leave that space. No. Shoot. Hmm. Nobody says it has to be one collage. I can just put whatever works. And then put something else. Well, that's a hot mess. What are we gonna put over that? Hmm. I don't know. Y'all aren't telling me anything. I can put that right there. Ooh, it's curling up. I have no idea what to do with this green paper. Because that's not going to work either. Or is it? Does that cover most of that? It do, it do, it do. Let's see. I guess. I don't know, guys. We're just doing. We don't know what we're doing. We're just doing. It's not going to show to Linda. Might as well do the top. Okay, now I'm going to put this one down first. Got a little sticky on that. Now, how did we have it this way? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we gotta move down. All right. Boy, these are these will go down after 
after they get something on the back side and get closed up for a while. Could have dropped that down a little more, but <sighs> all right. Now we have to put this somewhere. We have to put this somewhere. We gotta put this somewhere I'm wondering if we could make this like a journal yeah okay I'm gonna rough cut this we put this pocket on we could make this like a little booklet type that goes down in there so let's cover the back <coughs> excuse me Cover the back with this. It won't be real thick, but it will be. Does anybody else struggle with space? it seems like I'm using a lot of glue but I'll use this glue stick for a long time I really do okay Now this will make this a little bit thicker, so it won't be so flimsy, but it'll be some writing space. I'm not going to cut that down in the middle. I may have to trim that up. Let's make it. gonna curl I don't know about that 
should I stitch around it? Would that help? I wonder. Okay, let's just hold off and see. Let's pull everything back in here. Okay. This is what I was thinking with this pocket. Putting this on here. I'm going to do this just to cover up that little hole. Right there. Now. Okay. Let's use us. Oh, goodness. I pulled the whole top off. Oh, mercy. It's crazy. Should we go up or down? I love these little ruffles. Now we can put that right there. I was thinking, sorry. Um, I need to make sure I'm not I'm remembering what I'm supposed to be doing. this. I think I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom since we didn't go all the way down with our paper. Hold that for a second. Okay, I know I'm going to trim this down. Should I frame that? I'm going to put this on the side like a tab. I'm going to put this in here and we're gonna put this somewhere do I even like that we got to put this somewhere okay oh, I did not do the pocket Remember this little trick I showed y'all? Okay. I'm 
I just don't know if I'm gonna be okay with that flopping like that, but. Oh, we could put this up here. I wonder if I can make that more mar maroony. Is maroony a word? Maroony. Instead of bright red. What y'all think? It's really not. I'm scared. I think that'll work. Let me show y'all. This is just an old Creative Memories. Now that'll tone that down a little bit and it won't be so bright red. This thing has literally been just laying around on my desk, in the cup holder, in a basket, back on the desk, just Hanging out. So, now it will have a home. See, that looks so much better. So much better. Now, I hope it will dry and not smear. some stuff that I might could spray on it that might keep it from smearing okay let's go ahead and put this tab on you think I think it would be cool if I had a frame for that Let's see what we got. You know, to make it look like it's really a photo hanging on the wall. This might be cute, but it's not big enough though. Do we like that? Why not? Why not? Okay, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some glue around this edge right here. And then I'm going to center this right where I want it. Right there. Now, I'm gonna let that dry for a second while we put this tab on. It is so crazy here. We run the air in the daytime and the heat at night. It is just something crazy. And I think we're still not over the cold weather spell. I think we're gonna have some more. Let's see, let's just put it in the middle. Just like that. And this is just a little snippet that I made out of just little, little pieces of stuff. I have a whole little box full of just scrap. Scraps, we might do that one day.
I really think that I'm going to stick this up here, but I'm going to trim it down. Trim it on down. We can stick that up there. Let's get us a good... See, that's rubbing off. I'm going to have to do something about that. So see, there's the heat coming on. After lunch, I'll be flipping it over to the air. It's just crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Okay, I'm gonna have to change out my blue page. Let me get over here where you can see what's happening. Sorry. Okay. We got our type, our something maroon, our repeated pattern. Okay, I gotta do our stamp, but we do have some. But I'm gonna do that stamp. Something hung on the wall. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna cut this out. And I'm just tilting my scissors sideways a little bit so that will cut underneath that. Um, just back a little ways so it's not like right on the edge. Because we really don't want it to show. Oh, I wish I would have inked it. Dead gum it. Oh, I want to ink that, y'all. What can we do? I need to get under there. Shoot. I wonder if we can just do a little bit. Oh, yeah. Why didn't y'all tell me to ink that before you glue it? paper is just will not get under there. I have to throw stuff. I can't, I don't have any room. I mean, and you just barely, you just have to barely do it. It, oof. I need like a bell that goes off. It says, don't forget to ink. That's what I need to do. I need to put a sticker on my glue that says ink first. I wonder if that would work or if I would just ignore it. Look at there. We got it. <laughs> that looks awful. <laughs> It'll be okay. Yeah, it would have looked much better if we'd have done it first. Oh, well. It is what it is. That's cute. Okay, I have some spray over here that I'm going to grab and spray on this... Um, because I'm afraid that, see, Ugh. we don't want that. We don't have a mess. I know you're not supposed to spray indoors. 
Okay, this says pastel, charcoal, and pencil. So, like, you can spray it over it, and it and it keeps it from smudging. So let me go by my garbage and just, I'm not going to do much. I may not do any at all. Okay, I got a couple of squirts to come out. Now I'm gonna lay that aside and let that dry a few minutes. It works really good on my pastels and stuff um, and pencil drawings to keep them from smudging. So I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna help on that. All right, let's, this is heavy, so let's use our Um, oh my gosh, just Fabri-Tac. And I was looking at another bottle that had it written on the side, just plain as day, and I still couldn't think of it. All right. Um, it's kind of boring. We, we really need to jazz it up somehow. Hmm. Boy, between that spray back there and this glue. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to say about that. Y'all get my drift. All right, maybe that's really not much. When I turn it to the side where I can actually see. All right, do we decide we're gonna put it up there or no? I'm putting it right there. Cause I just don't know. Right there. All right. Let's do a little bit of stamping. Hmm. Okay. a little ink on there. Now where should we put this? Hmm. Oh, you know what? This is uh, not a smooth surface. Oh, but it did okay. Yay! What else could we put on here? Let's put another spoon down here in the corner. That's cute. All right. Now, this one says love. We need to put, I think I'm gonna put it right on top of that. think that's good we'll see I'm gonna go right there oh 
Oh, you just barely can see it, but that's okay. All right. Let me see. I think it's good, but gosh, I'm scared of it. Because it's, it's really not. I'm gonna use this. I really feel like it's missing something, but I don't know what it would be. We've done everything. We just wanna add some things to it to make it look a little more popping. going to put this down and I'm not going to close the book for a little while to make sure that it dries good. Okay. Hmm. butterfly's been looking at me. I think I'm going to put it right there. Or that, that does cover up a lot of journaling space, though, if I put it up there. Oh, well. It'll be okay. This is a really old stamp pad, but it still works. It still do the trick. Okay, we're gonna. I don't like the wooden ones because you can't see where you're going with it. Oh, I gotta show you something. <laughs> I don't know where I got this stamp from. Oh, that looks terrible. See, that's why I don't like wooden stamps. Look. Ben Franklin, a dollar forty nine. Wow. Okay. My ink pad might be that old. <laughs> All right, what else can we do to it? I mean, it's okay. We got our something maroon, our repeated pattern found in nature. Eating or cooking utensils, which is here, here, and the paper. Something hung on the wall. This is our photo. And a doodle. And typewriter text, which we have here for a little journal spot. So, hmm, do we need anything else? I think I'm just going to let it go like that. I think I'm gonna call that done. So that is the Marguerite Miller Challenge Planner Week 5. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.